you know that wound that wound that usually come out of your lip maybe around here or down here or here just around your lips and you think it's malaria our parents made us to understand that it's malaria and whenever that thing comes out you run and go and buy malaria medicine that thing is not malaria i'm not talking about that one that usually happens inside here mm -mm. not that one i'm not talking about that one the one i'm talking about is the one that happens at the side of your lips like this that thing that normally come out like this at the side of your lips and you think it's malaria that one is different i'm going to explain that one in a different video the one we are talking about now is that one that happens around somewhere here somewhere here around here this is caused by virus known as herpes simplex virus it is not malaria it has nothing to do with malaria this is known as cold sore it is a viral infer. It has nothing to do with malaria. So stop treating malaria anytime you see that thing around your mouth. Go and get the right treatment. And I want you to know that it is also contagious. It can be transferred from one person to another through kissing. I know you'll be like, eh, but children used to have it now. Does it mean children are kissing? Yes, your children can also get it through kissing. That is why you're being advised not to allow anyone kiss your baby. Mm, this baby is so fine. Oh, this baby is so beautiful. They'll carry your baby before, before you know it. They'll, mwah, 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 mwah. They'll start kissing your baby on the lips. No, that is wrong. You can transfer this viral infection to them. Stop. Don't allow anyone kiss your baby. You yourself, don't even kiss your baby on the mouth. Please. Take note of this. The another way you can transfer this to kids and also get it from kids is sharing food and beverages. For example, you're eating. You use the same spoon you're eating to still feed your baby. If you have it, you transfer it to your baby through that spoon you use in feeding your baby. Or you're drinking water from the water bottle or mineral from the bottle. After drinking, you still carry it and feed your baby. Through that means, your baby too can contact it. This is how you transfer it to children or even get it from children. You understand? So if you have this, go to your pharmacist. It is being treated with steroid, painkillers and the rest. Just go to pharmacy and explain to them they will give you some medication for it. It is not malaria and typhoid. Please. It is a virus. Virus. So treat it. In order to avoid this viral infection, you need, you need to stay hydrated, have a good oral hygiene, avoid smoking, avoid taking tobacco, take your supplements, take your multivitamins to boost your immune system. Stop kissing babies. And again, not be everybody where you see, you won't, you won't kiss. Stop sharing food and your spoon with outsider. You can share it with your family members, that is your husband and your family members right but with outsider you need to have a different spoon for outsider avoid stress and also avoid taking alcohol if you benefit from this video i would like you to say thank you coach nk on the comment section and don't forget to share this video to others like and comment thank you make sure you say thank you coach nk now the only thing where i just want from Mona, tell me thank you on the comment section at least it's not easy thank you